Hi guys, welcome to my low cost budget workshop. A bit cold today, only two weeks to go till Christmas. Uh, a bit chilly and it's raining, I don't know if you can hear that on the roof. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Katsu Palm Router. Now I got it off Amazon, it's the cheapest one they do on there, $35.99. Got four and a half star rating and 600 people have left reviews on it. You obviously get the odd bad one, but uh, the majority of them are good. Uh, I've already taken all the bubble wrap off it. I don't want to sit here unwrapping everything and get the solid tape off it. That's the parallel guide. Feels nice and strong. That is the uh, trimming guide. Never used a trimming guide, but you might do one day. That is the dust extractor that goes on the front. Should be a little screw there to attach it. You just put that on the front. And as you're going around, you suck all, all the dust out of it. Don't try that at all. That's not how you do it, really. There's the router. A collet. 3 8 inch size collets, it does do the half inch, uh, sorry the quarter inch size collets as well which is already in there. Yeah, see what I mean about it looking like a Makita. Same colours, different sticker obviously. Some people will tell that sticker off there. Stick a Makita on it, stick it on eBay, so it for the five times the price. But uh, no, don't do it. You won't get the warranty. That's nice and sturdy, solid aluminium casing, hard. Plastic case on the top. We've got the destruction manual as well with a few spare motor brushes. And we've got the spanner to put your bits in. Can you see that against my jacket? There you go. Some countries will call that a wrench, some countries will call it a weapon. I don't know. Some people will make a video of that actually and turn that into a weapon and show you how to do that. Not me. Anyway, get that box out of the way. Oh. Right, let's get some bits. Now, over the course of time, I will be making videos on some tools, new, low cost, obviously, and some that I've already got in here. There's quite a lot in here already from places like Aldi and Lidl. Uh, that drill press over there I've had for nearly two years. I'll do a video on that, let you know how good it is, uh, or how bad it is, we don't know yet. Now, these are from Aldi as well, the bits, these are for me, or the router, the bigger router. So, let's uh, put a bit in it. Ooh. Bit of DJ in there, scratching. Alright. Size in there, yes. That's the spindle lock just on the top there. Push that in. Loose, oh, it's already loose. Stick your bit in. Now, your bit should have a line on it. I'll tell you how far to put it in. There it is. Don't put it in too far. Don't put it out too far either. Tighten it up by your hand. Locked into place so you can tighten it with your hands. Don't over tighten in it. That's, that's in there. Back in its cradle, obviously I'm not going to push it all the way in That's just on here because the bits in there now, so bring it to the side Bring it level to the workbench and lock it off For the time being actually, just let me raise that up Because I've got to put the guide on There's the dust extractor uh, That should clip on that side And in that side Lift the screw to secure it into place Hands are cold. I can't. Well, they're cold, or it's arthritis at my age. There we go, that's on there. So, when you're going round, a bit of wood. There we go, back him on there. Uh, parallel guide. That'll go on the side there. Up. 
obviously height adjustable. guide as well that goes on exactly the same way it's got a roller there now I'm not using a trimming piece on there at the minute so I won't be using that Don't try plugging them in with one of those on. Don't know if you have those in America or different parts of the world. It's a three pin plug for the UK. Uh, tough as well. You always start twisting these and end up after about 30 seconds. Oh, first time. You realise you're twisting it the wrong way. Go. It's got variable speed on the top. There's your off switch at the front. Right, we're back. Got a bit of scrap wood. Clamped it down. I'm not going to use the dust extractor on it. I'm only going to give it a little test. I've already set the depth on it. Safety glasses on. Now when you do it, it's going to be coming towards you. Don't let the bit touch the wood straight away. Fingers out of the way. Turn it on. Turn it off, bring it out of the way. Well, that's not too bad actually. That was pretty good. Could probably do with some new bits. Oh, excuse me. Probably do with some new bits. It's not cut in very cleanly the bits. But uh, it's done its job. How long it's going to last, I don't know. But uh, I do think it's going to last a while because of the sturdiness of it. Now, if you like the video, hit a like for me and please, if you could, share it. The more shares I get, the more it'll encourage me to make some more videos. Like I said, I've got lots of tools around here, low cost tools from places like Aldi and Lidl, Amazon as well some second hand ones off ebay but I've had them for a while so you'll know whether they're going to last long or not so cheers guys thanks for watching <laughs>